Yo, this is timeless shit. Like, bro. These are from like the 70s, man. I'm, I'm homies with Mike. With Dude, Mike. Well, I think him and Mike ended up like, you know, there was a talk that they were supposed to be a collabo, you know what I mean? Because this dude, he had done some hats. He did some hats like this, but it's like the LA hands, but the Run the Jewel style. And and then um, I think Mike and them seen it and they were like, yo, Both what's up? Fun, so this one was like, yo, let's just do it in official collabo. Like, I won't release these. We can work something and something. Like and they were in the talks and everything. And just, yeah. But then just timing and other things and yeah. everything. But hopefully that's maybe something that can get picked up again, you know? <laughs> so when we opened up the shop, we released um, this print, we released a deck, and we released a t-shirt, you know? When we opened up our shop for our shop opening. When we opened the Big Fix Hardware, we were like, yo, this is gonna be the, the shirt that we're gonna drop. And fucking, it was dope, you know? He fucking, uh, we know Wayne, the dude that was doing the Supreme uh, thing. So he was like, yo, what's up? What do you think about this? And that was like, I'm just gonna pretend I didn't see it. So we were like, dope. That just kind of means like, run with it until they tell him something, you know what I mean? If they don't bring it up to him, then he's just gonna be like, whatever. So this was one of our good ones from the shop. Nah, that the, one's crazy, bro. Yeah, when the shop dropped and shit, you know? The thing is, uh, this is just like the beginning of all the little shit that this dude has and that we all fucking, you know, all this shit. He's done a lot of work, bro. He's done a lot, dog. Dude, you figure this fool's been at it like 40 yeah. years, yeah. dog. Yeah, it's fucking, his, his, it's crazy. That It's like impressive. His resume how much, is. No, his resume is, uh, is elite. Yeah. But what I'm saying his is. His resume is a Bible. Right. <laughs> it, it, but his, his body of, like how much of his work he still has representation of close to him like i can't express to you how many like creators i know that don't have no yeah I of, know like mean. like i don't have 98 percent of the merch i've ever made for myself in my size and like it's not i don't have access to it. it's gone yeah, right and like I, it's not the same if you just reprint it it's not no, the yeah, same yeah, 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 yeah we made the course. mistake of not like archiving everything that we've ever done no, yeah, yeah, I did that with, I mean, I was, I guess, just being hoarders and us being archived yeah. as it is, that was, like, automatic first thing. This is yeah. for the archives to that's get put away, crazy. you know what I mean? Then from there... That, that know. bear brick is worth OD bread, bro. Yeah. That one is, that caused bear brick? And the, and the, oh, like and, and the funny thing, dude, is that, dog, this shit was sitting in some, no in some store in Little Tokyo. And this was just walking one day and he was like, and he went in and he was like, how much for this? And then they were like, oh, we want this much. And he's like, I'll give you like 250 if you want. They're like, take it. And I was like, bro, well, this is like this, 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 that, the one with those editions, the head is still vinyl. Now they're not making them like that anymore. That's why this head looks crazy. That's why it looks like it's yellowish too. Because yeah. this is vinyl. This is when they were still doing all vinyl, including the head. They're not doing that anymore. You know what I mean? That's why it looks yellowish, off white. Yeah. Same thing with the little hands and shit. Yeah. You know? Hmm. Wow. He showed me that one. He, he, yo, there was like a good three months this year yeah, where he's just been, know, for sure. he's just been teasing stuff that he's done or he's got coming out or stuff that he like released. And I'm like, fuck, bro, I'll take one. <laughs> yeah, it's like I'm like, you gotta stop sending me pics of shit that you're not gonna sell me, dog. <laughs> Yeah, I know what you mean, yeah. It yeah. like hurts. Yeah, same thing with fucking Everlast. Everlast is always like that same thing. Always like, damn, bro, damn, you know? If you, look, if you see the art that he started with to what he's doing now, it's literally just evolving. Nah, he evolving bugged evolving. me out. Yo, the sto one of the stories, we had dinner uh, with Paige, celebrating Paige's birthday, right? And like one of the questions I asked him, I was like, how old were you when you started? Mm -hmm. Right, and he's like, "Yo, I started eight, nine years old." Speaking, speaking on, yes. speaking on a man himself, and so he's like telling me this story about like when he started, and then like shortly into a few years later after he started, he's like, "Can I have to go do stuff with Harry?" What's up, Doc? He's yeah, like, man. "No, I don't, don't want to. I don't want to." To see that he was getting the recognition, like, so in the full still in high school, essentially, like. 
to yeah. now being this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Last, like, last time we were talking about that you're story. You're fucking rock star, bro. Yeah, last you're time we were talking, star. Like, we were talking about that story, and he was like, yeah, I, I was like, he was like, you know, I said no to Harry, and I was like, fool, that's fucking double. How many people can just say that? They like, said no to Harry, dude, you know what I mean? I was like, that, that's just going to put oh, you on, on, yeah, on no, another no, station, station now. you know what I mean? Ah, yo, bro, this, this yeah. is crazy, bro. So this is our little home away from home. No, this is great. So I can this, see why you don't want to get rid of it. So, so, yeah, so people wanted to, you know, all these people in the weed business, whatever, they wanted to buy our building and all this shit. You, yeah. know, you know what this is kind of like? Have you been to Germany? No. So in Germany, there's this brand called Overkill. It's, yeah. it, it started as like a skateboard slash graph shop, right? Yeah. You came in and get your paint. And there's like a whole wall, like you, dedicated to this, and it's just, it's fucking straight culture, yeah. like, and they're still carrying like some brands. They've done a couple cool uh, collabs that actually obviously got them a little bit of bread, but they're still like very grassroots, and it's just got this, like, it's the only place in Germany when it comes to fashion and culture yeah. that really deals with colors, because Germany in general, it's a very monotone like uh, culture, right? It's all dark and yeah, cold like, and, and dark bland, dark. like it, it's everything is safe. And this one spot is like the fucking, the flower that came out of the weeds. I, yeah, I was hoping this place would be that in the beginning when I started this place. And then in the beginning, I was, I was all about the shop. Honestly, during COVID, I was posted in Hawaii all this time. So I didn't give this shop any attention for about, a, but about two years, a year and a half. I haven't made new product, no nothing. But the whole thing is I wanted to like keep it with dope shit. Yeah. Maybe get some cooler brands in here, you know, or my friends, yeah. my friend shit, but like, you know, keep it grassroots and shit, yeah. you know what I mean? And then we're, we're having our own spray paint no, drop later this year. No, that's bro. I'm so, excited. Yeah, I think the Bukaki brand, like, only available here yeah. because it covers, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I think that, that should be a funny brand because, you know, it's the, playing off the whole big dicks thing, right? Yeah, so, um, But yeah, it was, I, originally I was going to have a big skate area right here with the railroad tracks, with skate decks, all yeah. like in the railroad track, you know? So instead you did it this there. But, um, and then the train was going around, but it's hard to maintain that thing because, you know, buildings move and then also if there's dust on the track, it has to have contact all the time. But yeah, when we first opened, that train was running all the time. Now it's a mission to get it, get it going, but, no, yo, that's but I think it's, I, I love the train, you know, um, but you see, you see the. No, yo, he was, expect, card. So he was explaining to me uh, your whole idea behind that and how y'all ran it. That yeah. shit's fucking crazy, bro. Yeah. And you know, everyone's surprised they didn't come at me or nothing, but... You know, but your you're you culture, know. bro. Like, how do they attack culture? Yeah, you can't. yeah it's kind of like they're, 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 they were probably in a predicament, right? You know what I mean? Because by including them in this, I made him part of culture, right? You know what I mean? That's why they couldn't really... They can't really trip, you know? Stop and... And with the Bukake thing drop in, I think we're gonna have a, like a fresh new look. I'm gonna repaint the building all like like it's splatted or covered, you know, because it, it covers. Brush this, yeah. you brush this out yourself? Yeah. Yeah. Have to age it out, you know? So yeah, th this, this is how they come. They come blank like these, these trains. So we're just demonstrating what you can do with it, you know? People come in here, they don't even know we're back here. Like this is always closed and you know. I like know, that secret door. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it just. No, you don't even bother to look at the floor either. So you don't see the wheels. Yeah. So, so this is closed. So we only come out if he has there's drama or something, you know, because we got cameras and shit, and we, you know. But other than that, this door never opens. But this is the stuff I was raised with, like Kikaida, like yeah. you know, growing up, like watching this like live action shit, you know. So that's why I was like, someday I want to get his motorcycle, which is actually like this, look, like a Kawasaki with the sidecar. Where would you even find that though? It's a Kawasaki. Someone would have to rebuild it. I don't know if I'd get the OG one from the show, you know, but um, yeah. Or build some shit like that, huh? Like a car like that. Imagine. Like a lowrider like this shit, like all chomping shit, chomping fools with the laser action right there. That's Inazu, man, right there. Yo, how funny was that video I posted? It was like, who got prayed? I did. <laughs> who got prayed? Yo, that had me dying, that whole little, I'm glad we caught that, man. That right? was so dope. So, Such a whole nother, like, it's crazy. Like, you know, 
I've done a poor job of paying attention to the world because I've been so consumed with the culture that I'm in, right? And yeah. now that I'm getting older, like you become so much more appreciative and like, I, I like learning, right? And I have to be like, I consume myself in the learning. So now like seeing this whole other like world essentially that I've overlooked and now like I'm just racing to catch up. It's fucking wild, man. I'm ha <laughs> having a lot of fun just processing, man. And it's like, well, you gives know. you so much, so many ideas too. Like, yo, the last, I was at a, I was at Surgeon Studio yesterday yeah. before the game. And we, he was talking about, so I was talking about it in the car and he's like, yo man, it's like crazy. Like the, between the conversation that we had the day before that and then like, I spewed off probably 60 fucking concepts in like 30 minutes of like <laughs> what I want to do yeah. as far as merch and designs and like cuts and like layers and extensions of the brand and it was fun to get it out and then like after it was like almost like fucking outer body experience where I was like okay I just came back. This MTV thing is bananas bro. <laughs> yeah so that was a collab with uh uh, they were asking me to do something with MTV, and I'm not sure if that project even went through, but it was through Jason Freeney and all them. So and that oil one yeah. back there, he showed me like the oil Oh, moves. the oil slick? Yeah. Nah, you nailed that, bro. I don't know where in your head you'd be going with some of these ideas, but you're wired different, bro. You're wired very different. What are you thinking about, Jay? How much stuff needs to get recycled? Yo, this is timeless shit. Like, bro. These are from like the 70s, man. Yo, these robots are from the 70s, right? These little black robots right here? Yeah, those are some little like old, man, I don't know if they're that old, but uh, I used to live in downtown LA and they had this like, one of those cheap toy stores, you know, like yeah. in the toy district. The knockoff and section. I was like, so the reason why I got so many is because at my old spot, I had a chessboard, uh, like one foot tiles. And you all, were using them as chess And pieces. these are my pawns for one side. Like I used all my toys for the chessboard. So those robots were pawns for the black side, you know, so I used to play a lot of chess. Yeah. And it was even more fun with my toys, you know, yeah. so we just used to sit there and we move the toys around and shit, you know. Do you rock baseball shirts? Yeah? yeah sure. This is the thing I did with Ming Ming the last season. But uh, what size would you be? Uh, probably like a large XL. No, XL or large? Uh, what size do you wear? I'm in between right now. Like I was XL, but I'm like losing weight. So I'm in this weird like, yeah. I'll like I can wear a brand new large, but once I wash it, it's, it's a wrap. Uh, then, yeah, yeah, then I'll take an XL. Yeah. Thank you. But yeah, so the, the, I, this is some of the leading stuff I've been doing. Take this one. Yeah, I'm an XL for sure. Okay. But I know you guys don't rock jackets in... in... Nah, but I, there's, I'm always... A, you know what's funny is I probably have the most jackets in Vegas. What's out of any person. It's small, extra small. But these are pretty dope. <laughs> this is a large. You want to check the large? If not... Uh, So it's kind of like a windbreaker style. No, this is crazy, bro. Oh, okay. yeah, large is good. So all this shit, these are like little elements I made and I kind of photoshopped them together because the thing with leaning is hard because they don't have a culture. They don't have skate culture. So I have to make that shit up almost. So that's why I took like street signs and I put stickers on them and I changed the sign with a guy going like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. No, you, you, so, you know what you're doing And this is shit will never hit the states and that's why heads out here don't even appreciate what I do out there but leaning kind of does I mean because they break me off but I don't think they even know you know what I mean? well but they they don't understand there's the language barrier there's the culture barrier there's all like there's all these restrictions that like really prevent like but the fact that you're getting burned out there is crazy bro this is ill as hell 
for sure. It's a shame that a lot of this, you know, this shit don't see the light of day. Joni. But look, I think that shit's fire, you know? This is crazy. I designed it, right? No, 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 no. <laughs> this is nasty, bro. And the feel, the feel yeah. So they killed it with the, 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 their clothing is getting way better. Yeah, it's ours now. It's <laughs> ours now. That's it. He gave me a baseball jersey, too. It looks good with the suit on. I with bet. With the suit on and the jacket like that, she has it on. <laughs> it looks like you're driving, you're coming this off of a crazy. fucking McLaren or some shit. <laughs> But yeah, for this season we did street signs, but then skate. So this season yeah. they, they said, okay, well let's lose all the signs, and they just wanted graffiti and sl slap. So I'll show you what we did back there. That's Chinese, right? So out of all the impalas, this is the same exact one that Booker has, bro. With look, I told you the fucking uh, but the rims. A Booker has like roof. Same exact car. So so what's crazy is that because I'm half Chinese, I'm like all my cars have to be 59 impalas because it's the only year. You know, with the with the slant eyes. So this is my first car. This is a Pineapple Express, and then this is my second one I got. This is this is a convertible one. Look at this. This is called Lily Koi. So I wanted to keep it like Hawaiian. Passion fruit. Yeah, passion fruit. Lily Koi. Wow. This fucking this is a '59 rag. Like this was my dream car. You know. Wow. A dream car. But, and you know what's crazy is like when you get things you want, you always want more, right? Because my wife is like, okay, you got your dream car, like now what? And they're like, yeah, but. Yeah, but I was like, now I want a rag, but I can make it into a lowrider. Because this one's so OG, I don't want to fuck with it, right? Like, the motor's all OG, I left it OG, like. But I want, I, I want to. Because you saw my blue one, right? Because yeah. she didn't want me to get the blue one because she goes, you already have a hard top, right? But it's like. But it's not the blue one, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but all my car has slant eyes, you know? Same. The only difference is... Uh, the Booker's one is called uh, Pretty Penny. Right, he called and it Pretty Penny, and he, but it's so the back, same exact car. Back. So the only difference between this one and the one Devin Booker has? Uh, rag top. That's a rag, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I saw a picture of that on cartoon shit last night, right? Yeah. Yeah, so that was at the show? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You should be like, hey, Bust both them out and yeah. then tag Devin Book and be like, you don't got these, bro. So this was all warehouse before. And um, we were even doing DTG printing in here. So um, what we did here was like we set up. So this was all, this was all um, shipping for This Is It at one point. But we slowly phased out the brand over the years and got more into my fine art and then just kept the shop. But um, so our next plan is get rid of this whole printing booth area. We're going to get rid of that, get rid of all these racks. I think I'm going to put a wall right here where that thing is, and then clean up all the walls and make this a gallery. So I can actually, when, when people come over, I'll be like, oh, this is my shit. You know, like I just, I don't have that right now. So right now I'm presently using this spot. Like I just did this collaboration with Lee Ming. So I was telling you, I had to, they don't have culture. So I had to make culture for them. And their, their whole thing is like 90s skate, their theme. So I kind of, oh, thank you, Edgar. So I was like, I, I made like fake stickers. They don't even have a sticker program, you know what I mean? So I had to make these fake stickers, essentially, do a mashup so I could show them, so I could do this, you know? I'm like, but you couldn't. Yeah, the language barrier. It's so, so, so they don't understand, like, but you know, to do this, you have to have culture in there. So I was doing like, you know, like Thrasher parodies, and they don't even understand parodies. Like this is like a toy machine parody, but let, you know, because they're like, "What is that, Bruce Lee?" And I was like, "Well, yeah, kinda," because I did a mashup with, I did the toy machine yeah. logo as like nunchucks. I was just, because I think that's I love to flip shit, you know. Yeah. Um, and then there's some original shit I did with them, throw ups. And what we did was these are. So what we did was we set up the paper here. Grab one end and then wait, let's move it this way. Yeah. So what we did was this. So what I did with them was 
I set up these uh, paper that you use for like um, for shooting. Um, you know, these are backdrops, right? But we set it up with the camera right here with a time lapse, and I just went off with the stickers, throw ups, whatever. And then we shot this, and then we're putting it on their apparel for the next season. So on, on, you know, like the hoodies and stuff, you're going to you know see. You should run by them you know. that if they want. Uh, we got a couple light boxes in the store, and when the drop happens, you just do a, you know, pop up, a drop. small pop-up and drop at our store. And just have them take over all the signage in the store and, you know, film a little bit of content. Maybe come out for a little meet and greet. Yeah, because they want content and stuff, but I was like, but they got no presence out here. And I was like, I'm down to give them content, but they got to put a little money out here for me to make some hype, you know, but, but I'm saying, I, I feel like I'm doing a lot of cool shit out there that the American companies won't let me do out here or even pay me for, you now, know? The purists and the hardcore people that follow you, they're going to find a way to make it happen, bro. And that's, that's, that's cool. Not everything's for everyone. You're, yeah. you're just, you keep making what you got to make and keep having those like, like outlets, man. Uh, I, I can't. <laughs> Well, look, the ink is coming off a little bit, but yeah, the subscribe with some beach. I love that. <laughs> little ottoman, yeah. She can relate, right? <laughs> so, I, I have some of my collabs that I did over the years. Like, here's like the, the Adidas one. And you remember I told you they stole the trifoil? So, this is the one I did, and I did with me on there. And then later on, a few years later, they, Adidas just came out with this. They took me off and took this off. And I'm like, okay. But, you know, being an artist, I know where my drips are. I know, just like, okay, that's really, how are you going to do me? But, and they didn't even give you the mid pair. And then, so, like, like <laughs> a lot of people don't know when, when Eddie and them started Undefeated, he didn't have graphics. So, they came to me to come up with a logo, come up with all this shit. So, even come up with a name. They didn't even have the name undefeated yet. So they were asking me, so I got, I got paperwork over there where it's just like pages and pages of different names for undefeated. And then they ended up going with undefeated. So I did some of their early graphics. But I was so high back then. So Eddie used to joke about, you know, Eddie from, uh, he, he said, he said, he's like slick. He goes, I wish I could just have you in the basement and just, Feed yeah. you candy bars. I guess he was being joke, joking, but that's what he actually meant that shit because you know, you know uh, what I mean. Yeah, like, no, like <laughs> basically, like yeah, give, no, him, give, give him a few rocks. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Like, and then some. So that's why people didn't mind that I was high because I didn't ask for much. I just would do my thing, you know. Um, that Dumbo is dope. So that's a, another conscious series that I, I want to do. Like, and this is like a whole thing against um, the whole like ivory and big game hunting. Yeah. But the thing is, I'm waiting to install this on a wall that I can, uh, I wanna make it like an old bedroom, you know, with the wallpaper and the yeah. hunter's room and everything like that. And then I have a series waiting there to release, which is actually the ivory ones are all waiting on the shelf. They've been sitting there like three years just because I haven't found a release date or got caught up in something else, COVID and that's just like, but but the date on here, you know, it's crazy. This is uh, this is the date of Peck the Elephant died in Hawaii. Oh. You know the guy that got got blasted. He escaped from the um, the circus. So this date, uh, August 20, 1994, is when when Tyke passed away. They blasted him. He escaped. He he escaped from HIC Arena and like I fucked up the. the year I started middle school. <laughs> Oh, before you die. So that's a gold record I got from the Far Side when I did their album. You did the cover for Far Side? Look. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on, man. I was so high painting, painting fucking rails for days. So if you see the original artwork, the original artwork is like this, and the original rails were like, like drawn so thin. And it was time to turn in the album, and I was like, I opened up this illustration uh, a manual, and I was like, wait, my roller coaster doesn't look as nearly as dope as this this airbrush dude. So I said, I redid the whole thing, you know? And that's why if you see the actual album, there's two sets of roller coasters in there. But 
Um, yeah, so we did that. And then Delicious was pissed at me because I was past the, the delivery date. And, and then uh, they're like, Slick, where's the art? We're you know, ready to drop the art. And I was like, I was so burnt. And you know when you're coming down from, from shit, you know? I was like, I was like, I'm going to need more money. You know, because... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I would love to have those. Like, you know what I mean? I would not only love to have those in the store, I would love to figure out how we have one in the house. Like... This, this speaks Caesars to me, you know? Because ideally, you, you know when when uh, I was doing all the shit at Palms Think and Think about the noise that would that, make in Caesars. Wanted, like, in the window, like, yeah, no, you imagine you pull up window. to Caesars Palace, you know where they have the statues and yeah, shit? Yeah, you put but you have one of these place. instead right there? <laughs> I can make that shoot happen. We'd have to do you it, know what I mean? We'd have to do it late at night, but I could pull that off. That would be but, sick, yeah? Else, you know? Just to make noise, right? And then take it down or whatever? I don't know. Or in the season, or in the, in the, in the fountain or something? What, what, what do you, if you sold something like this, what, what, what do you think? You think that's something we could pull off this week? With and those? This? Yeah. 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 So, so this is my paint studio, but right now my car guy is borrowing it to store my, this is for my wagon, my Nomad wagon. So we, we, we got an LS1. This is LS3. Oh my fucking God. So this is an LS3? Dallas, LS3 fucking engine that's going into I'm putting this in my, in my Nomad wagon, it's all patina. But so people ain't gonna even know I'm coming. There's an LS3 and it has the fuel injection, but uh, we're, make, we're making it look like an old 57 fuel leak. So my boy in Mexico just made this piece. Yeah, so it's gonna look like fucking you didn't do shit to it. Yeah, it's like, dude, like you opened the thing from like 1957, you know? Or 1959. So normally, like when, when I'm painting, I, I put canvases up here. And I can paint, 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 and then like take off the raw canvas and then cut it into whatever size I need, whatever. <laughs> like, you know, we got in super cheap, you know, and so. So, yeah. Like, LA is just a giant, like, camouflaged fucking city of fucking. Uh, you wouldn't even know what's going on in any of the buildings. <laughs> right? Crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A whole bunch of sketch shit's going on. <laughs> So no, yeah, they're growing just... weed next door. They're growing weed next door up here. This one, this wall, I'm gonna cover with metal all the way down. That's next, because uh, they just redid the fence, and then it's gonna be my like my fuck around wall. Like I have my own yard here, so I can do graffiti pieces. I don't have to worry <laughs> about getting shot or anything like that, or like you know. So these are foil, a foil LA hand balloons, but when they went through customs to check if there's drugs in there, these fuckers. Poke oh, no. things in there, so a bunch of them are all. Just I can't even blow them up because he. Yeah, but there's foil balloons in here like oh, that are all LA. There, I was like, what the fuck, really? You're gonna like poke? Them? <laughs> and then there's whole this whole thing about there's a helium shortage. I didn't even know that helium was a thing to be short on. You know, I was <laughs> like, you just assume there's always gonna be helium, right? Right? Southern Nas heads, homie. You go to the rays and the fucking spots like that, and all the helium's there. All the tanks are at the Nas spots. So this is a print that um, I'm doing a sculpture for Beyond the Streets. So um, it's actually a Mickey with all these like arms and shit. So I did these prints. So these are the uncut, like embellished versions. There's gonna be selling for about 1,500 to 2,500 each, but each one is individual, like. Yeah, but um, but the actual the actual run is probably 400 or 500, but they're cut and trimmed. But each one of these has its has its own character. I like the insides better than the outs. So some of them I graffitied the insides, and some of them I graffitied the outsides. But the actual sculpture is, I think, 14 feet tall. That's the one for. Yeah. So that that that's that's the one for Beyond the Streets. Like it's amazing to see them inside the world of an artist, bro. Me, I just piece stuff together. You create. It's different. And it's like, I'm just hopeful that we could create a lane that allows me to like paint you and like put you in the light that, that you deserve. Cause like, you've been such an, like, you've been such an important part to culture for the last 35 fucking 40 years. Behind yeah, the scenes though. I'm yeah, no but key. still, bro. Like, the, it's time that it's time that you write a chapter that the world sees, right? And hopefully, we could be a conduit in that in that curating and. and yeah, I saw something there. That's why. Oh yeah, dog. 
But we're gonna get on the <laughs> well, fucking road, bro. Dude.